This is a Transformers animated uh, McDonald's Happy Meal Toys up here in front and the back just as a little bit of reference we're not going to do a review of them um, the counterparts of these toys in the activators class uh, from Hasbro no these are toys that Hasbro has manufactured specifically for McDonald's uh, and they come with a purchase of a happy meal uh, at McDonald's I had to go through five different McDonald's toy stores, McDonald's stores, uh, just to hunt these guys down. Um, why? I have no idea. Uh, they've been really been very saleable items that people have been snatching them up out here in Manila. And um, we have a, here in Manila, we have a very lucrative market uh, for, for the Happy Meal toys. And, uh, you know, I've I've seen collectors go to garage sales just looking for uh, discarded Happy Meal toys, some toys that maybe some people's kids have outgrown. Um, they've really paid a uh, a good. They've really paid some good money for these uh, figures. I've seen people go crazy over um, uh, Disney characters, uh, uh, Dalmatians, uh, Pixar. Uh, movie characters that that, Hos uh, that um, various manufacturers have have really made for McDonald's. So you know, if you have kids who have some Happy Meal toys they've out they've outgrown, you might not want to throw them away just just easily as that. You might want to do a garage sale and sell them because there are some people who really go out out and look for them. Um, so there, enough of that. Let's begin with with this review. Let's start with Optimus Prime. Um, very nice alt mode. Just a, I wish they could have just painted the uh, wheels a little bit more with black, just like they did with Bumblebee, but they didn't. It's okay. the The cab is very well detailed. I really like it. Very impressed with it. Rolls very well because it's got wheels underneath. To transform him, you want to lower the legs. Uh, fold. Push forward the feet. You want to open up the back part and reveal the arms. Um, flip up the head. Head is made of a softer material compared to the rest of the body. It's got Autobot symbols uh, embossed right there. Very nice. Really, not much you can do with him. He just stands around. Uh, not very posable, sadly. But that's that. Very nice. Um, Optimus Prime. Next we'll do Megatron, uh, perhaps the weakest in the alt mode. Uh, it's not a very believable helicopter. I mean, a little bit of imagination. He could pass for a, a twin rotor attack copter, but he is just a robot lying face down. Anyway, uh, transform him. You want to fold up the feet, stand him up. I'm gonna fold down the rotor blades, push forward the arms. Uh, fold back the cockpit and rotate the head. Just like Optimus Prime, he's got a soft. His, his head is made of a softer material compared to the rest of the body, as well as the blades. He's got a uh, Decepticon symbol engraved there. Camera is not picking. Oh, there it is. Again, just like Optimus Prime, he doesn't do much. He just stands around. He just stands like that. So it's okay. Then we'll do Ratchet. <clears throat> um, rolls very well. Um, Perhaps the most believable alt mode in the entire lot because of the wheels that are on it are actually the ones that roll. Very nice. His head is sticking out like a tombstone. Transform him. You want to pop open the doors or the panels like so. Fold out the feet. Just pop up the head. And that's that. He's got a very muscular arm. Um, it's been embossed on on either side of the on either arm on either panel, I guess. So kind of funny looking, goofy looking ratchet, <laughs> um, but but it is ratchet. So we're gonna keep him there. And finally, perhaps the best toy or best figure in the entire lot is Bumblebee. Um, I say this because this is probably the only one among the four that can really pass as a G1. Uh, toy as a G1 character, G1 figure. Um, if you have a lot of G1s, you'll, you'll know what I mean. Um, 
He's got wheels at the ba at the base. Um, the, these wheels that are actually painted on him aren't functional. They don't roll. Uh, but the 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 alt mode is very believable. Uh, his head is sticking out and rolls very well. Transform it. You want to pop open the doors, reveal the arms. You want to pop up the head. You want to fold out the uh, the feet. And this is what what's interesting. Uh, he's got waist articulation. So really, it, this thing could pass as a G1 uh, figure in my opinion. The arms and the head are made of a softer uh, material compared to the body. And he's got posable arms, just like a G1 figure. Um, and very nice. I guess Ratchet and, and Bumblebee could pass as G1, but Ratchet has a false uh, chest, uh, which is really cheating in my opinion. But, but I guess this one is probably the best, I guess, as I said. I uh, could have painted this one red, but it didn't. He's got an Autobot symbol in boast on the chest. So there, Bumblebee. And there you go. Uh, the Transformers animated uh, McDonald's Happy Meal toys of Optimus Prime, Bumblebee Ratchet, and Megatron. They're very nice. Uh, I wouldn't really recommend these toys for people who are really the hardcore Transformers uh, fans or Transformers collectors. If you are a fan of the animated show and you like going to McDonald's and um, and and you like the uh, the animated figures, um, I would recommend these guys. I mean, you know, just for the novelty of these toys, I'm, I think they're certainly worth it. But don't go around and do what I did and hunt down these toys. Um, <laughs> that's just crazy anyway uh, there you go I hope this video has been somewhat insightful to a lot of you who are wondering or are still fans of the animated uh, toy line by Hasbro there you go thanks for watching